Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play with Clay. So I'm gonna do some potion making and I want to make some strength potions and I also want to make some potions of swiftness so I'm gonna get all my doodads in order here and I'm also gonna talk about something that happened yesterday that was really annoying. So or Sunday actually because I'm recording this on Monday. So anyways um, <laughs> I sat down on my air mattress and it suddenly deflated and I'm like my butt's not that big so like why are why are we deflating I mean air mattresses kind of naturally deflate a little bit as they get used more often as they get a bit older so I'm like well all right it is what it is but my thing popped a huge half inch hole in one of like the seam parts like it has these little I don't know, like divots I guess or like indents or whatever and it popped a seam around one of those which it shouldn't have but whatever so anyways that's what happened and so I didn't have a bed to sleep on and that was very uncomfortable and I couldn't patch the hole or anything so I was like, what the heck do I do? Because I didn't have any, like, duct tape or anything, really. So, I was like, alright, oh, my mother has a queen-size bed. She and I can share the bed for that night. And, you know, the next day on Monday after I get out of work, I'll go up to, like, Walmart and buy one of their cheap air mattresses to just replace the one that's not working rather than fight to try to patch it. So, I'm laying there on my mother's bed, and my mother's bed has a similar problem. And even though we're both laying on it, you know, it deflates in the center, and so I keep rolling toward her while I'm trying to sleep, and it's like, I'm never going to get any sleep, and I have to go to work tomorrow. So at about, like, 12.30, I go into my room, and I put one of the patches that came with my bed onto the, you know, hole and that patch like would not stay put. And I'm like, what is going on here? This is ridiculous. So I kept like putting um, packing tape over it and I must have put like I think t 30 pieces of packing tape on it, I'm not kidding you. And it still would not stop it from deflating. It's a pretty big hole, I mean, and to tr think that you can patch it's kind of silly anyways, but, you know, I, um, basically bundled up a bunch of my blankets and slept on that. So, the next thing that happened was I, you know, ended up sleeping kind of on the floor because I have a hardwood floor and the thing obviously deflated under me so I was kind of sleeping on the floor and I have a persitis in my left hip from a car accident from 2013 so I ended up rolling onto my left hip and my hip hurts. So I'm going to have to take my Flexerol tonight. I had been prescribed Flexerol by an orthopedic um, last year because of the persitis. It was that or he was going to give me a cortisone shot, which doesn't actually solve the problem. It just makes it not feel like it's a problem for a short period of time. And that was, and if you ever seen the uh, needle on those cortisone shots, it's pretty massive. So, and I am 28 and I'm technically, and a lot of doctors say this to me that I'm not supposed to have these problems at 28. Well, that's what happens when you get in a car accident. So, I didn't get any sleep last night. The only reason why I'm in a good mood was because I took a nap. And the reason I was able to take said nap is because I found a way to kind of patch my bed with duct tape. Because we got some duct tape. And it's very heavily patched. Like, it, it kind of leaks, but it's a super slow leak. I look at this like I'm talking so much that I can't concentrate on what I'm doing and I like made mundane potions and it's like screw it I'll just drink them and by the way I'm noticing for some reason that every time I log in I'm in peaceful mode now and I don't know why that's happening 
Um, there's something with 1.8.4 that was a problem, and I think this is like the problem, and I think it's finally caught up to me. So hopefully soon Optifine will be updated, and I will be able to download said update, and then I will be able to, I don't know, use 1.8.7, which fixes all of these problems. That'd be nice. But yeah, it's like I log in and I'm in peaceful mode. It's like, no, no slot challenge. I'm not supposed to be in peaceful mode. And I don't really have a penalty for that. Like, I mean, if you guys can think of a penalty before the end of the season, yay. But, um, yeah, like a genuine penalty. Like, not the game throwing me into peaceful mode for bizarre reasons. But, you know, me actually getting caught doing that. Um... You know, we can think of a penalty for me, but it's just, if it's not one thing, it's another. So yeah, I woke up this morning and around like 9 o'clock and I had a really horrible migraine. So I took some medicine for it and then I went into work and I was okay. Like I kind of still had the migraine, but I was like, you know what, I can fight through it. Yeah, and then I sit down in front of the computer because that's what I do at my job. I work on a computer, and it was worse. So I, I like how I'm trying to walk through the boring stand. <laughs> so it, it got to the point where I was like, no. So I, I had said to my boss, um, it's getting worse. And I mean, like sitting in, that, in front of that computer was just like making my head pound. And she said, why don't you go home? Because you need rest and the whole nine yards. So yeah, I came home and I napped. By the way, I'm using the Windows Media Video codec rather than the Intel codec temporarily just because I want to test out how it works. And I'm trying to use the Movie Maker 2.6 as well. So, yeah, it's just, I, the Intel codec seems to have problems with Movie Maker, like, Movie Maker just can't play sound a lot of the time, and it's really frustrating, so, yeah. I thought I had saw that slime, so. I think today is a day that I get over the water, please, for the love of God, Jesus and Mary Joseph and all the holy apostles, which is to be honest, I'm not even religious, so I'm not why I'm, I don't know why I'm saying that, but, um, I didn't know this was here. I genuinely did not know that this was here. Um, wow, <laughs> I, I really did not know that there was another Ravid here. Like, I played through 40 episodes. I just want to point that out. I played through 40 episodes with the original series. You only got to see 15 of them, but I played through 40, and I never found this. So this is cool, okay? This is really, really cool. Now... I can kind of hear mobs a little bit. I don't know if you guys can hear them, but I can hear them. But I have, like, really, really sensitive hearing. So, I'm gonna get myself to the bottom without getting killed. It's always a good idea when you don't get killed. And... <coughs> Excuse me. My throat's a little dry from talking. Which, by the way, I have Dr. Pepper, which I haven't had Dr. Pepper in a week. Goodbye, skeleton. It's a nice feeling to have Dr. Pepper. It, it really is. So I'm going to drink some now. So there will be a minor silence in the commentary because I'll be drinking Dr. Pepper while I'm doing this. So there. A slight delayed kill of the skeleton because I was drinking Dr. Pepper. So anyways... Um, you know, yeah, 
it's a beautiful thing when you have Dr. Pepper. It's like my all-time favorite soda. People who know me well know that. I'm collecting iron for reasons. I don't know why I'm so hip to collecting iron, I just am. So... I think I want this too. All these days and weeks and months of me playing on this map and I never found this. Do you even understand? Do you even understand? It's a beautiful thing. So, a while back when I first started using dead gear, or D3D gear, I call it dead gear because that's kind of how it's spelled, but anyways, I was using this Windows Media codec and it was causing a weirdo glitch. So if this video has the glitch, then I know from the playback at which point I will not use it again. But this, I'll try to remember not to use it again because I have to kind of switch back and forth between the two. And yeah, but anyways, and that's taking a really long time to dissipate. By the way, if you used to play old school Minecraft, lava didn't finally dissipate normally until the 1.3 update. Not the pre-release, but, you know, post-release. So, you know, this is something that's kind of new to Minecraft, actually. In terms of, like, you know, post 1.8 beta. Or beta 1.8. Everybody seems to call it beta 1.8, and I always call it 1.8 beta. I don't know why I do that, I just do. I would really like to hope that the gold doesn't fall into the lava, because that would not be good. I think it's starting to become nighttime too. But I don't care. There will be less mobs down here anyways, which means less chances for me to get killed. Which is always a good thing. It's always a good thing when you don't die. Why can't I make you mad? I want to make you mad so you come down here and then I can kill you. Because I need ender pearls. Come on! I shook my sword at you. You should get down here. This is probably a really, really bad place for me to be right now. With this lava right behind me. So let's see how far I can stretch. There we go. Alrighty. So that skeleton has to die. It's really dark down here, too. Like, freakishly dark. Like, the light doesn't even reach into there. Like, you can barely see anything, which is kind of cool in terms of, like, the creepiness, but... Ooh, that's, that's not good, that kind of darkness. I don't like that. We need to fix that. So, goodbye, darkness. No mobbies will spawn. And I'm gonna go here and I'm going to get you and you're gonna die and the other dude's gonna die too and nobody's gonna kill me. Die. Everyone dies. That, that's how it works in Minecraft. Everyone dies except me. I am not. Hi. <laughs> He's gonna come with the shovel. No. No. Not having that. Is anybody else who's gonna like harass me right now? Like seriously. Cause I see lappies and I want them. I also don't want to die. I think I can get the lappies now. Yes, I can get the lappies. Technically it's pronounced lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli, but I always call them lappies. Which is a very probably a very American way to say the name of this stone. So, yeah. You know, most of the stuff in Minecraft is actually found in real life, to some degree, except for, I think, redstone. I think redstone's the only thing you can't find in real life. I'll have to look that up. But anybody who thought otherwise, redstone, or not redstone, um, obsidian 
is a real thing. It genuinely exists. And it really is volcanic rock that is ridiculously hard and you can't, you know, mine it with anything or break it with anything, but, you know, it's great for like arrowheads and things like that and tools and whatnot. So, I've actually been down in this little cave before, but I never found the ravine. I'm not kidding you, I never found the ravine. Um... Or I might have, like, looked up into the ravine or something. By the way, this is, um... There is an old video that I had recorded with one of the wolves that I had in the original series that um, you guys didn't actually get to see. And unfortunately, that wolf, Lucius, he died because I brought him down here. And the way that he died was... No, it wasn't when I brought him down here, it was actually when I brought him back upstairs. And he died because he could tell there was a skeleton underground in the cave under where my house was. And so we figured, well, we'll dig down there and kill the skeleton. That would be a nice adventure for us. Yeah, well, there was a creeper there too, and the creeper ended up blowing up Lucius. And that's not the first time that I've lost a pet. I was very upset. But... It is what it is, and it was a stupid decision of mine anyways. And, oh well, at, at least like, I mean, I should, I was gonna say, at least it's like a game, so it's not like it's a real animal, but regardless, it's still kind of sad, like, whenever your pets die in Minecraft. Um, by the way, in the comment section, if you've ever, um, lost a pet, um, tell me so in the comments, if you have, and how you actually lost that pet, like, what happened. Because sometimes, you know, the way that we lose pets in Minecraft can actually be a very interesting story. So go ahead and share that experience. And torch that. And I'm gonna... I guess... Go back up here. And there's very few mobs right now, which is fantastic. So let me get rid of that. And I think now is a good time to go back upstairs, or I want to see what's here. Nothing. No. Step it. Really? I can't make that jump? Fine. Whatever. I don't want to make that jump anyways. So, we weren't able to entice the Enderman. But we enticed the lag, though. And that's always fun when you entice the lag. Oh, this is creepy. So, in episode 11 of the original series, I was building my way up at night, and I got shot by a skeleton, and it startled me. And then there was a creeper, and I tried to run away, but I didn't run away the correct way. And I fell into the ravine, and I didn't hit the water, and I made a very loud splat noise, and I died. And it was very upsetting, and I didn't like it much. Because I had some really good tools and armor and things, and I lost those. So if anything kills me right now, I'm going to be very angry. I mean, it'll be great for you guys who are watching, but for me it's going to be like... Yeah, oh my god, it happened again. Of course, you would think that I would learn. I cannot enter pull out of here, by the way. I actually tested that in the other save world from the original series, and I died that way, so that's something that you can't actually do. And the reason why I was testing is because I was trying to um, spawn an endermite, which I did successfully spawn. But I can't remember where the hell am I ask. <laughs> where the hell am I going? Where am I going? My gosh, I took the long way. So, yeah, but it, um, yeah, I did spawn the Endermite, though, which was fantastic because I've never had that happen before and I never encountered an Endermite, which really is like a black and purple 
silverfish. And it behaves just like a silverfish too, for the most part. Except it's not as relentless. So I think it's time for me to go to bed now. And so that is what I will do. But I want to thank you guys very, very, very much for watching. And I don't think I'm going to go outside yet. I don't feel like doing an early morning cleanup. So in any case, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. Your support of this series is greatly appreciated. To help keep this Let's Play alive, go ahead and click anywhere on the screen to watch the next episode.